Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and I am finishing up this junk journal that I've been working on. I thought I'd just um, take you along for the ride. So she's pretty much loaded with all sorts of interesting ephemera. Have a little bit of final decorating on certain pages and gonna be working on the cover art and just, you know, kind of play and add as I go. This isn't really a, um, you know, strict, rigid way of doing it. This is sort of me meandering around playing with my junk journal. And I did have, um, uh, I was gonna originally put one of these birds on the front, but I'm, and this birds happen to have um, the similar color pattern, color scheme as these, as the fabric on the front, which might work out really nicely. Although, I also have the antique florals. I think that's what these are. Is that the right name? No. No, this has another name. What is it? I can't remember right now. But I will figure it out, and I'll link it down below. This digi kit has some beautiful floral botanicals, and um, I think they would look really nice on here too. Let me see some teal. Well, that would look nice, but not in a pot. No, I want the free flowers. Yes, see, that would be nice. Nice, that would be good. See, there's some bluish purple, bluish purple, the brownie and the pinkies. These are more peachy pinkies. Let me see if I can. Them. Listen, that would be okay. That one would be good. I think that one would be good. This one would be good. That one would be good. I can put you over there. Um, that's really good. Oh, there, that would be a nice one. Okay, that would be nice. But oh, this would be nice. Oh, God. Okay. Um, let me cut some of these up. Okay. I'm going to freewheel it here with hand scissors. Oh, scary, scary, trying to get the straight line with that baby, but we're going to do it. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is rough up the edges on one of these. Which one do I like better? Is it going to be that one, that one, or that one? I think maybe the middle one. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling the middle one, maybe. Um, we'll go with that one. And I thought would do the old trick with scissors. Remember this? You've probably seen this. You? Remember, you, it's kind of like what you used to do with ribbon to get it to curl. It's uh, roughing it up a little bit. It's actually easier with a straight blade. Let me get a, uh, a craft knife. Okay, I have a, one blade I can work with. Oh, this would be very good to use eyeglasses. So thou does not cut thyself. Okay, thou is that a word? It is today. Oh boy, these are super, super close ups. Okay, so let's see if I can show you this focus wise. Roughing up. See that? Give a nice little decorative edge. I think I'm going to nestle it on some cheesecloth. I'm probably going to ink it. Yep. I think you could sand this as well, but I think this gives a very nice textural edge. Oops. Now maybe go back that way, close to the edges. Okay. All right. All right, there we go, let's see. Is this the right way? Yeah, that's the right way. Okay, that, where is the nestling of the cheesecloth? We must need to get the cheesecloth to nestle. Do I want the brownish cheesecloth? This is probably gauze more than cheesecloth. Maybe I'll cross pollinate the cheesecloths, brown and white together. I don't know. And I think I'm going to ink this. Digging, digging. See, I can't see far away with these glasses, so I'm just going for basic shapes. Here, here I found my vintage photo, and my brown dauber. We're going to town. Here we go. All right. Well, it's gonna give a nice little roughed up vintage edge. I'm thinking, that looks nice already, like that. Okay, but it does need a background. 
to distinguish it from the rest. And I'm thinking maybe even give it a framed border. We, we'll see. Let me just get a piece of this off here. Ruffle it up a little bit. Get some of this going. It's nice when you can ruffle it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to kind of give it a general placement. Um, I want the white near the top for some reason. Let's see if that's enough contrast. Kind of like that. I think I need more of a border though. I'm just, I feel like I do. Let's see. You are not cardstock. I need cardstock for that. Let me see. Going in my, oh, I know where I can get cardstock. In my scrap bucket. Oh, here's a nice piece. Okay, there we go. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe glue this onto here and then rough this edge up too. So let's just try that. I, I, I could sew it on too. I could, get, I could just go all sorts of fancy down here. Let's see. Well, let's just basically put it down. If I need to do the edges, I will. Okay, there we go. That's nice. And I think I'm going to use my... Like, oh, oh so I've got so much stuff on my desk. It's ridiculous, but it is present. Okay, let me pick up this needle before I lose it. Come on, little baby needle. Come to mama. Come. Oh, I just got to scooch off the edge of the table. There, that's how, that's how it's done. Nope, nope, looking for stuff, looking for stuff. Can't find squat on the desk right now because it's mayhem out here. Mayhem has returned. All right, let's get one of our new rulers. We're very excited. Here's one. We have one. Yay, I'm so happy to have rulers again. Okay, let me put... Let's see. Yeah, I want to see how wide. Okay. There. And a little closer. There. There we go. That looks pretty good. Not bad. All right, here we go. Now just turn this around. Square it up so I can actually see I'm getting the right framage here. Looking pretty darn good. We'll call that pretty darn good. Yeah, we'll back it up there. There we go. Okay, so now at this moment in time, Technically, this is what we have, which I think I think looks very nice in and of itself. Might it look better with this behind it? It might. Let's just give it a go. Look at that. I don't know. Maybe I'm not feeling the cheesecloth. Yeah, I'd be off with you. But maybe I want to rough this up a little bit more, and maybe I want to do some sewing on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. All right, roughing first. Rough, rough. There we go. Oh, put the glasses on. Where, where are they? They're right here. It's amazing how fast things move around in these parts. Okay, here we go. Pretty easy process, very rewarding, very satisfying to do. It's kind of like popping bubbles, you know, bubble wrap. Okay, it's not quite as good as that, but it's not bad, honestly, it's kind of good. And, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. There we go. There we go. All right, that, that, I, like, I like the way that looks. Maybe I don't want to do more than that. Let me try and ink it. I know, I always have to take it one step further. Probably shouldn't. Should I? I don't know, maybe I should leave it like that. I really do like that. Hmm, big decision. I don't think I'm gonna do anymore. I think I like it just like that. Okay, so then I'm gonna come in here. Do I want to sew it? Maybe I want to sew it. I don't know, I think I like it the way it is. Okay, I'm just going to put more glue in then. Yeah, sometimes you have to know when to back away. If you feel compelled to do something, do it, I always say, but I'm feeling compelled not to do something, so I'm, I'm not going to do it. How about that? Okay. Yeah, it's a subtle art of when is enough enough? When is it not enough? When is it too much? Oh, well, who knows? 
Who makes these rules in junk journal world? I don't know. Who are you out there? Don't we have enough rules everywhere else? We have to have rules here too? Okay, I like that. That looks really pretty. Um, okay, so I'm going to glue this down nicely along the edges. A little bit of Fabrifix glue. And if you have not seen the Fabrifix glue, it's a clear silicone glue. It glues fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, and paper to paper. Not sponsored, just darn like the glue. That's what the bottle looks like. Made by, Be made by Beacon. And you can buy it online, different places. You can buy, I think you can buy it in the, I think you can even get like little tiny bottles of it in the Dollar Tree, which is kind of cool. All right, let's hope for middle. And I would say with these things, you do like a little higher space at the top for some reason. I don't know why, but it's like a visual art thing. A little higher space at the top, a little smaller space at the bottom. There. There we go. I think that looks really cute. I, I, I could do more. Okay, let's see what else we can do. I have an idea with some blingage that I have. I have these um, these little squares. They might look really cute. Just like corner accents. Let me try one for an example. It might look like not cute, but let's see. Rivety cute. That's kind of cute. I like that. All right. And I could also do them on an angle. Do them like this instead. That is cuter. I do. I think that's cuter. Okay. But I'm going to reinforce these with Fabrifix because I don't trust the adhe adhesive on here. All right. Get you down. All right. All right. All right. There. Very good. At the right spot? Oh, maybe there. Oh, uh, there. Is that the right spot? No, that doesn't look right. There. That's the spot. I think that's the spot. Yep, that's the spot. Okay. So four of these. So hope you're having fun today crafting. This is just in the middle of the process of this particular junk journal. Okay, there. That aligns there. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And here. There, that's very good. Oh, maybe too low, a little higher. Yeah, off the bottom. And one more to take her home. I don't know, I think I got these in Walmart a long time ago possibly, or maybe at a thrift store, I'm not sure. Or I got these little guys, but you can find the stuff all over the internet or in the craft stores. All right, there we go. Yeah, very nice. Okay. And this one might might call for corners. I haven't, I haven't used corners in a long time, but those are gold, right? They're gold? Yeah, maybe I'll put some corners on here. See if it fits. Some of these are skinny. These might be fat corners because they're fabric. I might be able to get in there. I'll give it a try. All right, we'll give it the old college try here. Okay. Mm. All right. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Let's try to pop that on. There we go. See how that surrounds in the back. Oh, I need my little hammer. This is handy if you have one of these, but if not, you can use a regular little hammer or something, whatever you have handy. Tap those on nice and tight. And then you want to squeeze
squeeze these down to lock them in place. And the glue and the tapping and the squeezing will adhere these very nicely. There we go. All adhered. Okay, let's try another one of these. You can buy these corner protectors, I think they're called, on Amazon or eBay. I have some links in my shop, I think, but you could, they're not hard to find. You're just doing a general search. Uh, a little glue in there, just for good measure. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this baby on there. Yep, let's see, make sure we're not bunching up against a decoration or an embellishment or something. Hammer it home. There. Very good. And I, these are jewelry pliers, in case anybody's wondering, but you could use regular pliers. You just need something to squeeze to get these together nicely. Those can also be purchased in any of the fine craft stores of choice. Okay, I've got two down so far. Let's switch over to the back. Um, coming down the home stretch. All right, one of these, right? Okay, a little, let's widen it up a bit. Widen you up, widen you up, widen you up. Still waiting for my new desk arm thing. This one's it's behaving better today. I don't know why it's having a better day. It's just like it had a bad day there and made me scamper off and buy a new one. And two is one and one is none, right? So there you go. Mm-hmm. There we go. Give it the squeeze. The squeeze of love. Get in there, little guy. Get in there. 